I mean, those, those 15 guys in there, 14 guys in there, uh, no, 15. Uh, last game of the road trip, we all know how difficult those games are, and, and it just, just 15 guys bonding together, and, and I don't think it was pretty, but, uh, that, you know, really credit to our, credit to our players, 100%, uh, really, really um, gutty performance. And a single Spencer out talked about him in the pregame about how he needed to step up and how you expected him to play in the fourth quarter with five fouls. Just describe what you saw from him. Oh man, he he, uh, you know he took over and and uh, his drives, how aggressive he was, understanding the mismatch, understanding when to get it out uh, of the blitz. Uh, he was just fantastic, and I I like in general how we play. We had 30 assists. Uh, really shared the ball. The ball moved well. I thought DJ was huge. Again, again, they were blitzing us. We got it to DJ in that pocket. I thought he made some outstanding uh, passes. D DJ was huge. But I, it's it's hard to single out two guys. I thought everybody who played, even Shump, you know, first half struggled. Then second half uh, uh, really hit a, hit a big three and then defended well. Obviously, you kind of preached the next man up mentality since you've been here. But, I mean... Late in the first half, where I think you guys were down 10 or 11 or whatever it was, and you had Theo in there running yeah. point, and you had Musa, and that was where you were getting creativity from. It could have gotten away right there. Yeah, I think, I think Brian, we're gonna, we, that's what we're about. We're gonna trust these guys. These guys put in a lot of work. Uh, they've been in our program in a, a, a while, uh, so they, they understand what we're doing. And, and uh, we, we, like we talked about before, I can't, we can't burn out our other guys, our top eight guys. We can't play them 45 minutes. So those guys' cont contributions were huge. I thought Theo really got, got in a rhythm in the second half, and, and in that stretch in the first, made some, made some big shots. But uh, uh, Nick Claxton was good. Uh, uh, it's a real, you know, it's like the ultimate team victory, you know, when you're, 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 your best player's out, let's be honest. And uh, uh, everybody steps it up a level. It's, it's a really a, a, a real boost to our morale. What did you tell them at halftime? Because it just seemed like there was so much more energy from you guys right after half. Uh, I wish I could tell you I gave them some great speech. I didn't. I think we showed a lot of positive clips. I think we, we you know, we, we coach we coach positive. And, and uh, you know, what we avoided was that super bad stretch that we've had in the, in the past two or three games where we just have a, a, a train wreck of, a, you know, eight minutes or a quarter that doesn't go right. I thought we stayed, stayed really together and, and uh, uh, really, you know, played a complete game. Usually like you have. It seemed like they were making it very difficult on you to drive to the basket, and Stan Spencer just kind of forced it. In the, uh, <laughs> Spencer's good. <laughs> He's like a you know a tailback. Sometimes you just keep pitching it to him, and he just keeps going around end, and he keeps going, and he keeps going, and he's so fast. He's got to be one of the fastest guys in the league, and and. Uh, uh, he, he, he was outstanding. That was obviously, the free to got to the free throw line a ton. That, that, that's his game. I think they were trying to send, like you said, Greg, they're trying to send two to him. Uh, so I think he did a good job beating those two sometimes, but also getting the ball out. And, and I, I, I thought he really played a, a complete game. Then we put him on Zach Levine, you know, to, as our stopper. So, uh, uh, you know, great game by Spence. There were a couple um, situations, I guess, where you struggled in the third. I mean, we've talked about it before, struggling in the third quarter. But you had that run, I think it was maybe 16 to 8 or 18 to 8, bridging the third and the fourth today. Was there anything specific that you saw in that, or was there anything tactical that you I think, you know, I, I, I just think it's because we've had problems in the first quarter, too, right? Those big first quarters. So it's hard. I, I just think we've, we, we didn't have a, 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 a huge stretch where we, 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 we weren't connected and didn't play good basketball. I thought we played really consistent basketball through, through four quarters, and, and uh, I, I think that was the difference. So do you have to credit the, the second unit? What you had, you had three starters with four fouls within the first five minutes of the third quarter, and the bench guys were the ones that kind of kept you in it. I think that's what, you know, Brian said, you know, it's like, well, do you play guys with four fouls, and, and or do you trust your bench? And, and I get to keep reminding myself, quite honest, trust these guys. Trust these guys. Uh, uh, trust your development program. Trust your young guys. Uh, um, so um, uh, I, I'm not sure I've done a great job of that so far this year. I think I, 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 I uh, uh, um, have to trust them more because they, they, like I said, they've done the work. They're in our program. They know what we're doing. You know, trust them.
The sign made another appearance, and the guys were giving you a little grief for not holding it up high enough. Was that it? Yeah. That, I, I think I'm gonna, after the last uh, kind of, you know, people making fun of me on Twitter and stuff, I, I, I wanted to be a little more discreet. So maybe maybe I'll wear like a T-shirt or, or you know, and have it underneath. But um, yeah, I don't want to make a big deal. It's more about our coverages and helping our guys communicate. It's it's definitely not a, not a publicity stunt. All right, guys, thanks, thanks so much, guys.